today we're going to be checking out Budokai Tenkaichi 2 it is one of my personal favorites it's definitely one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z games growing up I know a lot of people's fan favorite is Tenkaichi 3 although Tenkaichi 2 always had a special place in my heart if you enjoy the vibes make sure you slide subscribe as I would really appreciate it it helps grow me and it thrusts my channel in the algorithm and helps me get out there coming a part of the community you might be in giveaways you might be just you know helping the community grow in some type of way I really appreciate the support anyways in honor of Sparking Zero coming out in the next couple months actually three months i just wanted to go back and look at one of my favorite tenkaichi games as sparking zero is basically the definitive tenkaichi 4 that we've never actually gotten this chills oh my god okachan if they have that in sparking zero i'm gonna flip spike chunsoft well i guess they were just spike before and now it's spike chunsoft right i don't care bro we experiencing this intro together It's so good. Story-wise, Tenkaichi 2, definitely the best out of the entire Tenkaichi series. You actually get to go through like every single, almost every single episode, right? All the important parts, as well as some things that you might have not thought were important. Now, the stuff that I've always disliked about video games, and I felt like it really would have fit inside of a game like Kakarot, was that whole season one arc of Kid Gohan when he had Goku's clothes on and he had the sword from Piccolo teaching him how to just take care of himself, right? And he wasn't really a parent in Gohan's life for like that few months or some shit like that. And he went through the town and he got to see the kids and, uh, you know, kind of help out that community. It, it really gave me that, that Dragon Ball feel again. I don't know, man. Seeing that version of Gohan in the game would be really dope. And just experiencing that kind of uh, saga, I guess you would say, that mini, mini saga is just dope. Oh my gosh. To some people looking at this nowadays, you might be able to say it's trash. I get it. The graphics isn't the best. It looks a little clunky. It looks a little blocky. The shadowing isn't the best. Like, I understand looking at it from the lens of 2024. If you have never played the game, could be a really bad game. But for the time that this game came out, brother, this shit was peak. Oh my gosh. Dragon Ball Z Piccolo. Piccolo right off the rip. Brand new save for this. You got Dragon Adventure, you got the Ultimate Battle. Occasionally, I will be geeking out over the freaking soundtrack. Now, let me change the audio settings in this bitch real quick. Cause I'm, I'm sure this shit is loud as hell for y'all. All right, sorry for the detour. It's just, I swear to God, bro, nothing really hits the same when you go back to an era, a generation that was just so different for Sony, so different for gaming, so different for anime games. Like, back then, I know it's cr it's kind of crazy to say because there's always every era had games that were very lackluster, but... I felt like a lot of games that came out in the PS2 era was very forthcoming. They like put their best foot forward. You know, look at all the old Devil May Cry games, the old Dragon Ball games that came out from the PS2 era. I know a lot of people don't like sagas. I thought that was great though. It's just so many games out there just in general that came out in the PS2 era that has like PS4 and 5 um, reboots to them. And they're just garbage. Like there's no soul in them. But the older games just had so much weight to them. Now I'm doing a whole bunch of talking. I know you might've skipped around. So we're gonna do some of the dragon adventure because like why the hell not long ago oh my gosh this shit just makes my spine just forged, just tingle you know together, would summon a dragon to grant a wish this is the story of those whose lives were touched by the dragon balls Powerful this shit is so nostalgic bro an evil alien menace has descended upon earth the an same. alien alien menace the first to arrive was Raditz, Goku's older brother. Now, something I really enjoyed about this game is the fact that they had an actual map that you got to fly around and do stuff in. I'm not like a, an entire sucker for having a map in the game. You know, we played that in, in Shin Budokai Another Road. And again, if you haven't checked out the series, it's on the channel. Maybe I'll link the playlist down below or inside the iCard. So if you go inside the description, you'll be able to see that. And it had its own kind of 
stuff like this, right? You have each little point of interest that you could kind of go to, possibly find stuff in. And I'll kind of show you what I mean. You go here, it's not entirely explorable, like not even in the slightest. You go here, sometimes there's somebody here, boom, you find a Dragon Ball. Boom, I got the seven star Dragon Ball just by, by looking around. You might be able to fight somebody here or just talk to them, you don't even know. And they just, you know, they have a little bit of something to tell you. And that's literally it. You can't go too far. As you can see, you can't go too far out of like just your small little range. You won't know where Dragon Ball is. I don't know. And I really can't remember if there's a way to get a Dragon Radar. Probably. Another way that you used to be able to collect Dragon Balls was when you were in the middle of a fight. Sometimes it'd be like underwater or through stuff when you knock them through things. Um, yeah. And then again, right here, you get items. So it's always pretty cool to just go around, explore. They really do have its own RPG element. I swear to God, when I was seven years old, this was the coolest shit in the world. Oh, okay, so look, now we have Tess. So we're, we're fighting a level 30 uh, Master Roshi. And this is exactly what I was talking about. You start off with a level eight Piccolo. I can look at the evolution. Let's see what, what stuff I have to put on. A uh, health plus one definitely can put that on. I, I definitely want to save some for Goku though when I play as him, because I know I'm gonna have to play as Goku, of course, when I have to fight Raditz and stuff. For the sake of my health, holy shit, I'm putting defense up, and I don't even have the other thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'll actually take one of the healths off. I'd rather put defense on and then have like one plus one on attack. Oh shoot, and we got this version of Master Roshi? Ooh, no sir. Okay, hold up, hold up. Nope, oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you can't unblockable, unblockable. I, I could have just dodged that, I guess. Or maybe I could have vanished it or something. I don't know. You gotta remember, I, I still gotta get in my bag here. All right. Uh, yup. Yup. I just yep. keep just keep pressing this. Just keep pressing this. Yup. Mhm. Mm oh no, you don't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I? How do I? Oh no, no, no. How do I do my 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 special attack? Oh my gosh, I can't. But no. Yup. Nope. Oh, okay, hold up. Oh! Oh my gosh, I feel like I can't talk and play this game at all right now. It happens every time that I get back into to playing a new, another... Nope. Mm. Wait, hold on. Triangle is my... Yeah, yeah, that, that is. There we go. Okay, hold up. I mean, I'm I'm not getting mixed up as crazy as I thought I would. Okay, okay, hold up. Pop, pop. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, at least I did a special move. Hold on, let me get that. Ooh, okay, okay. Hey, look, bro. It wasn't flashy, but I got the job done. You're. Let's be honest here. How many of you guys were going to be playing this game and being like in your bag after not playing after what? 10, 12, 13 years or so? Five peaceful years mm. have passed since the epic battle against Piccolo. So the way Sparking Zero is going to be doing the story, I feel like we can be very generous with. The only caveat is I do feel like there's going to be a lot of people that never played the Tenkaichi series that's expecting it to be Kakarot level detailed in it or even Xenoverse level detailed but now an evil new menace has cast its shadow over the earth it really just depends on how they how they really want to do it because every version of Tenkaichi has done the story differently like vastly differently Tenkaichi 3, extremely restricted. Tenkaichi 1, sort of restricted, but creative and cool in their menus in their own way. And then Tenkaichi 2 was the most freeing. I mean, like, if you have Super Saiyan unlocked already, you can go through 
the story and turn Super Saiyan 3 against Raditz. In an attempt to make this video slightly shorter, I'm going to cut up a little bit more. Okay, I know. Don't butcher me in the comments, okay? I do want to just skip to the fights, all right? Come on, where are you at? Ooh, no you don't. Oh! Good God, bro. One at, one at, okay, okay. One attack doing, doing numbers, bruh. Yeah, so as you can see, you're you're clearly supposed to lose this fight. There's no way that that I would actually be able to win this fight. Black grenade, is that connecting? Okay. I mean, hold on, hold on now. If if I can connect, cherry bullet. I remember when they shit was called cherry bullet. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Come on, come on. Bro. Oh my gosh. No, I actually really want to beat him. Hold on now. <laughs> no. <laughs> bro, y'all don't know, bro. I'm freaking fighting my ass off right now. <laughs> Ooh. Yup. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. That connects, that connects. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yup. Come on. Get hit with this. Bruh. No shot. Nice. Uh, let's go, bruh. Let's go. Big dog on this shit and play this game in fucking years. And I went in. Fateful Brothers. I gotta see what that do. And then I naturally level up to, to 20. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I do remember if you, I don't know if the cutscene is different. I know if you, yeah, I was gonna say if you lose, it shows you getting like really struggling and stuff. Ah, now we hitting cool with the boy Goku. I do gotta look at the skill list, so I'll look at that in like the actual next fight with Raditz, you know? I think it's pretty cool, you know, how the map is because it it gives you that sense especially when you're a little kid of connectivity similarly to how kakarot does it but of course you know this is much much of a predecessor to kakarot so it's always really cool to see um kind of where kakarot gets some of its roots Ten thousand, just say don't mind if i do I remember my goku back in the day was crazy Ready? okay okay no sir nope yep what is this move called by the way I, it'd be very helpful to know what some of the stuff i'm doing is called like of course i know that's the jumping oh no sir mm, oh good grab good grab pop now was it this game where you can like no it's, it's it has to be tenkaichi 3 where you could double tap um square and um i said double tap square but double tap triangle x or triangle and then you know like get right behind them do you know what i mean and do like a double dash type of a thing Ooh, no you don't Yeah, like, so you could do this and then have this extended, like, so much more. I think the other attacks are with circle? Okay, that's how you get the energy. I know that's how you make the spirit bomb much bigger, too. No, sir. Yo, Raditz is getting mixed right now. Ooh, I forgot all about that shit. Ah, oh, there's only one more freaking t thing left. I wanted to really see if... Ko Ken is is up. Hmm. Okay. The 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 moves are just different. Okay. Well, I don't have enough to, enough time to do anything in this fight. I'll have to try to shake it and do and do it in the next fight. Now I think I can actually beat Raditz here. No. Okay. I'm about to say no shot. You should be able to to dodge that. Yup. All right, so I don't know if he has the same moves like like Goku does. So, light grenade, definitely doing numbers there. 
Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that's how you did the, the, the vanish. Now, how do you. How do you switch? I thought it's like clicking L3 and R3 together. Is that right? Oh my gosh. Hold on, bro. I'm mixing right now. I'm really just him. Okay, good grab. I, I have to look, bro. I'm sorry. I have to look. The circle ones use blast stocks. I know I wasn't crazy. Okay. And then how, how do I do the the uh jeez bro holy shit how do I do the <laughs> I can just see it people clipping this video if it ever actually gets views uh how do I do how do I how do I people playing old games <laughs> bro you leave me alone <laughs> see like Piglo shouldn't have Hell's own grenade here. But that's kind of part of the charm, bro. It just makes the game that much fun. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, no you don't. Hmm, okay. I don't know if his is the one that like paralyzes. I don't think so though. Okay, it's down. Oh no, that that definitely paralyzes. Special in cannon. Okay, I know I could have held that and did more. Hold on, we're about to end this canonical. Ah oh, shit! I gotta get the timing on like all the vanishes and everything. Bruh, 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 bruh. bruh. Hold on now, hold on now. We gotta end this canonical. You getting too comfortable now. Hold on, hold on. I yo also how do you how do you switch? Oh, it's L2 in the in it. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, la 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 look. You acting out now? I'ma have to just end it, bruh. This man is going crazy. It's a, I'm so glad there's no like skills, uh, <laughs> no rating in this game, bruh. Calm down, my nigga. God damn. Swear to God, bro. I'm over here trying to have fun in the canonical. This man just on my ass. Let me know what you guys are thinking of Tenkaichi 2 um, revisiting this in 2024. Okay, and if right. you are down Get to see me stream the game, because that's something that I'm, I'm heavily considering going through the whole game, streaming it, having a much more chill vibe. You know, I'm not going to be as energetic. I, I will be honest. I do put out a lot of energy in my videos because I wanted to bring light to somebody's day. You know, I try to be funny here and there, but I'm, I'm not like that funny. I don't think so. So I just try to be entertaining in, in the ways that I can be. So if that's something that you're looking forward to, let me know in the comments down below. I really appreciate it. Let me know what your favorite Tenkaichi game is and why. You know, I really enjoy it too, just because of the story, the gameplay, which... I guess the only it's just more nostalgic for me. Tank H 3 is great as well. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll visit that. Let me know if I should visit Tank H 3 next. Okay, I do know that before Sparking Zero comes out, I promised that I would return to the Shin Budokai series. So I will be returning to that game to beat the first game. I uh, again I already beat Shin Budokai Another Road. I know I played it backwards. I had played them when I was a child anyway. So I want to go back and play Shin Budokai. It's much more closely related to the Budokai series if you never played them. But yeah. Tenkaichi 2 in 2024 is still fun to me. If you enjoyed the vibes, make sure you slide subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace. I never felt like. I never felt like it.